Hello everyone. I am having the best day and we need to talk because I have definitely just read one of my top 10 books of 2024. Um, it is Black History Month in the United States. I am reading loads and loads of books by Black authors or at least that is the goal for this month. I always like to have an audiobook on the go, on the go at any given time and in addition, um, we have just been given a thousand dollars to spend on books for our classroom library. I teach sixth grade special education. So, um, with all those things kind of combined, I decided to, um, get from the library on Libby, this book called The Probability of Everything by Sarah Everett. This was recommended by Colby Sharp, who has an amazing YouTube channel where he talks about middle grade books. Just like trying to spend this thousand dollars, I went to his YouTube for ideas. Now, I am not someone that normally reads middle grade books because it seems a little bit like work to me. And on the weekend, I want to read grown up books. I want to hang out with grown ups. I want to read the grown up books. I want to do grown up things. Things. Okay, but this was my audiobook that I had on the go. So I'm listening to it as I am on this massive clean of my apartment, which is another reason why my day was epic today. And all of a sudden, everything that I knew to be true, just like, boom, something happened. I don't want to tell you. So anyway, let me tell you as much about this book as I can without telling you anything because I think you need to go in blind. This book has an 11 year old girl as its main character and essentially what is going on is that she lives with her mom, her dad, sister, and like unborn sister. <laughs> her mom is pregnant um, in this pretty affluent, very nice community. Um, they are black and they lived in another community before where they felt more welcome. But now that they're in this affluent community, uh, things are just not the best for them. Like they, their neighbors are not super welcoming and they do have one neighbor that like adores them and they love this neighbor. But like things are tough because of where they live. You have racism, obviously. And the book starts off by basically saying that an asteroid destroyed the earth um and then you kind of switch back in time and you are following this family in their final days before this asteroid hits earth they know it's coming they can see it in the sky um and so it's a very tense <laughs> book although it's an 11 year old that you're following so it's like an 11 year old view um, of what's going on. Um, the 11 year old loves science and math probability in particular. So that's why it's called the probability of everything. And um, you are just following like how her family deals with this. And I will say that like, for me, I um, don't know when this book was published, I assume 2023, um, based on some stuff that happened in the book. But like, this definitely gives you like pandemic vibes because um, you remember the early days when like no one really knew what was going on. Everyone was terrified. Everyone was stocking up on toilet paper and groceries and families were just trying to be together if they could and like just huddling in their house, not really leaving very much and just staying together. Um, all those vibes are present in this book. Lots of tension and wondering about what the future will bring. Um, also, in the lead up um, to this big event, um, our main character, I think her name is Kinney. Um, but anyway, she has a bunch of nicknames. Um, she decides that she's going to build a time capsule so that people in the future will know what was important to her and so that is kind of something that just like propels us through time um as the days are be basically as it's becoming closer and closer to when this asteroid is going to hit it's kind of something that centers us um just thinking about if you were moments away for well days away from death what would tell the story of your life and what would you find important 
And so that is all I want to tell you about the plot of this book because I already think I gave away too much that you should just discover on your own. But let me talk about all the boxes this checks. First of all, let me just say before I go into that, that this was really good for me as an adult, but obviously it's a middle grade book. So children, right? Should be for, well, it's for everybody. It's for everybody, but um, this is a middle grade book. So the boxes it ticks, if you are curious about wanting to tick boxes for your children, your students, whatever. Um, LGBTQ. Now, one of the things that is something that's always in the back of teachers minds I guess is getting books getting people to be mad at you because of the books that you're selecting for your classroom and so many of the books that I have in my classroom are people would get mad people would get mad okay but this book is a very light LGBTQ it's just sprinkled in there which is beautiful because it's just regular life right like gay people exist um, so this is just mentioning that a character has two moms. It's no big deal. It's not a focus. It just says it a couple times. Nobody cares. Okay. So that's the one thing. Um, it's written by a black author and has black characters. So there's that own voices, um, BIPOC. And then there's the black lives matter theme, which comes up. Um, and so there's the box that you can check for that as well. Um, if you are trying to inspire kids to one day be in a science or a math career, there's that. So there's STEM slash STEAM, whatever. Um, themes in this as well. Art is in here. Um, I think that kids learn a lot about Black Lives Matter and also about specifically probability, but math. Um, through this book. There's great vocabulary in here if you want to check that box as well. Um, like from time to time there'll be a word and then the character will say that she doesn't know what it means or she'll explain what it means or whatever. So great vocabulary. And yeah, I just don't know what else to say about this book other than that it is one of the best middle grade books I have ever read in my entire life. Possibly the best. That's a lot to say. I might need to think about that a bit more. Um, this author is now an auto buy author for me. I'm going to see if she's written anything else, but if not going forward, I will buy all her th stuff. Um, this book is already on my classroom list for the thousand dollars I'm going to spend in my classroom, but I'm also going to purchase a copy for myself for my own personal library because I cannot not own this book. <laughs> Um, so yeah, um, let me know if you've read this book, if you're interested in reading it, tell me all the things because I think this book is absolutely incredible. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.